Start okay, so I get started. Um, I will write the title. Um, this is about lower bounds for um, by by Birkhoff interpolation. And I'll try to explain what what this is. This is a uh, joint work with Ignacio um, Garcia Marco. Um, so, so this work is about a, a very uh, a very simple model. Uh, we try to represent polynomials uh, in one variable um, as sums of powers. Um, sums of powers of degree one polynomials. Okay. So f f is a uh, f is going to be a, a, a real univariate polynomial, and we want to um, we want to have k the number of terms as small as possible. So we, uh, as usual, are. Uh, 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 in uh, lower bounds, well, the goal is to find uh, an explicit polynomial for which you need as many terms as possible. Now, if you take a, a polynomial of degree d, basically by counting the number of parameters, uh, there must be some um, uh, polynomials which require uh, about d, uh, uh, d terms, but uh, the challenge is to find uh, an explicit example um, and we, we have a couple of examples. So uh, there's one one family of, uh, of examples. Um, so this polynomial here, um, which we call H2 for some reason. Um, but x plus one to the power d plus one minus x to the d plus one, so it has degree d, and it requires uh, uh, a linear number of terms, and we, we have uh, yeah, we have a fairly precise bound. So we we must have at least uh, d minus one over two terms. Uh, but uh, of course, there's a catch. You, you, you must have uh, these, these exponents here must be uh, 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 restricted to be at most d. If you, if you can use the large exponents, of course, you can get away with just two terms. Um, so big, big exponents help. And you, you, you so you could, you could ask, um, what if uh, we allow arbitrary exponents? Well, we have another example. So you, you take. Uh, uh, this family now, um, so you take any basically any linear combinations of powers. Power D. Like x plus what? X plus y i. So this is like a shift. Okay. Um, this is any any uh, a, a, any uh, any constant. So, so, so the the uh, the uh, beta i's are non-zero, and the y i should be distinct. <coughs> um, and the, the result for this family is that. Uh, you cannot save anything. So, so, so you know, this is already presented as a sum of L uh, uh, powers, and there's no way to uh, uh, rewrite it as a smaller uh, sum. So you must have uh, always uh, k at least L. So this is, this is an optimal representation. Uh, if L is not too big, uh, so the exact value is uh, um, uh, d plus two over four. So 
anyway, this gives again uh, a lower bound of order uh, of order d. Okay. Um, so I'll try to tell you a little bit about the, the motivation for this in the previous work and uh, uh, and also uh, what's the proof technique and what, what's Birkhoff interpolation if I have the time. Uh, so, so, so the previous work on this. Uh, <laughs> We see some joint work with uh, Niraj Kayal, uh, Shannon Sa, and Timothy Pekat, and we we, um, we actually looked at a, um, a slightly more general model. Um, we looked at uh, sums of powers of low degree polynomials. So each, each QI has to be smaller than some, uh, uh, the degree has to be less than T for some T. You could think maybe of T being equal to two. That's already in, uh, in an, uh, an interesting case. And for, for this problem we have, um, we have lower bounds for explicit polynomials of order square root d over t. Um, so you see that for t equals 1, uh, of course you're back to this model here, uh, and the, uh, the order uh, uh, is uh, square root d. So of course this is, uh, um, uh, this new result is a significant improvement over this, so only for t uh, equals 1 for now. Okay. Um, and what's, what's, what's the, so what was the proof method here? So we, 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 give, uh, uh, we gave uh, 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 several examples based on uh, either shifted derivatives uh, and also uh, uh, another method uh, based on the Vronskan determinant. Um, so, uh, uh, so this result here, this is this model here. This is really maybe a, t a toy model, but uh, uh, the exciting thing about it, I think, is, is that uh, you get a uh, you get a better bound than uh, um, than with shifted derivatives, and you, you may have seen uh, lo lots of recent papers. Uh, on lower bounds for arithmetic circuits based on shifted derivatives. Um, uh, lots of interesting results, but uh, uh, I think uh, uh, they maybe they, they, they got st stuck a little bit by, by now, and it's, it's, it's more or less clear, I think, that uh, you're not going to separate, say, VP from VNP using just this uh, technique. So it's, it's interesting to find some uh, uh, maybe more powerful techniques. So this, uh, this uh, uh, method here that we have is based on polynomial interpolation and it does better at least on uh, one toy model. Um, okay. Um, yeah, and I should mention that uh, this is, it's very important here that F is a real polynomial. So uh, uh, as an open problem, I, I could mention um, well, there are many open problems, but uh, you could try to extend this to complex polynomials. Uh, try to find a, a, a linear lower bound for complex polynomials. Uh, the proof that we, that we have uh, really uses the fact that, that we have uh, real polynomials. Um, so, how much time left? Uh, five, 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 minutes. five minutes. Okay. So, so what's, what's the uh, what's the idea of the proof? Um, so, what we try to do, we we, we try to to find some um, some uh, sufficient condition for uh, that gives you the. Uh, uh, 
uh, gives you linear independence of uh, uh, these, these powers, right? So for instance, if you take, take, take this polynomial here, here, H2, if you can, can write it as a small sum like here, then this is, a, um, a, of course, a, a, a linear uh, relationship that you have between these, uh, these, uh, these powers. Um, so if you, if, you, if you have a good criterion that tells you that uh, you, do, you don't have any linear relationship between powers of uh, degree one polynomials, I mean, uh, maybe you can, well, you, you're in good shape. So, uh, um, so, so this was, uh, this is the starting point. Try, try to find a, a good uh, criterion for linear independence. Um, and so if you, if, if you, if you know about the Vronskian, you, you know that in general, uh, uh, if you have a, a, say, k polynomials, the von scan is a k by uh, k determinant, and it tells you in principle uh, if your polynomials are linearly independent. Um, but uh, um, these, these determinants, they are hard to analyze in general. It's, it's hard to know when, when they are uh, identically zero. Um, so so we, we, we managed to find some uh, more uh, indirect way of, um, of uh, deciding when these, um, when, these, uh, uh, when these determinants vanish. Okay, so, so, uh, um, so let's try to explain this. Um, so we, we're, we're given, assume that, that we, we're given uh, k polynomials of degree degree at most d, so this is, uh, this is r sub d, that's the uh, linear space of polynomials of degree at most d. So we want, to, uh, we want them to be uh, linearly independent. So, um, so we, want, we, we look at the, uh, at the space spanned by, by the, uh, these k polynomials. We want the dimension to be k. Now, one idea is to look at the, uh, we look, look at the, uh, so let's call this uh, uh, V. So we, we look at the, uh, the orthogonal of this space. Um, so now what we want is um, that the dimension of your orthogonal uh, be equal to d plus one, that's the dimension of uh, Rd minus k. And so this is like looking at it uh, from a, a dual point of view. Um, and the thing is when you, when you, uh, if, you, if, you, if, you if you choose a good basis for, for your dual space, then uh, you can translate this uh, this question into a question of uh, um, um, polynomial interpolation. So basically you have to uh, find out what's the dimension of the space of polynomial satisfying a, a, a given uh, interpolation problem. And l let me uh, tell you briefly what's, what's Birkhoff interpolation. Um, so, uh, uh, and to, to uh, let's start with someone, something that uh, everyone knows. So Lagrange interpolation, in Lagrange interpolation, you have to, to, um, to find a polynomial uh, that will take specified values at uh, some, uh, some points. Maybe, maybe uh, this would be an example of uh, Lagrange interpolation. Then we have Hermit interpolation. This is a, a, a bit more general. You can ask not only about uh, function values, but derivatives. You can ask about the first few derivatives. So uh, instead of, uh, for instance, at minus one, you could ask not only about the value of f, but you could ask also about, you could ask uh, uh, um, about the value of uh, maybe the uh, say the first order derivative and the second order derivative. Um, so, I don't know. so if you if you take this collection of five constraints, 
this is a, a Hermit interpolation problem, and Birkhoff is e even more general. Um, Birkhoff interpolation, you can um, you, you can have uh, uh, holes if you want in the sequence of derivatives that you interpolate at any any point. So, for instance, we could um, we could remove this constraint here. So you, you would ask about uh, the value uh, of f and uh, and its second order derivative, but there, there would not be any constraint on uh, the first order derivative. So that, that's what uh, Birkhoff interpolation is about. Um, and it turns out that uh, uh, this problem here uh, of, uh, uh, um, of finding out the, what's the dimension of a, of a space uh, spanned by k polynomials, you can rewrite it uh, as a problem like, like here, like uh, a Birkhoff interpolation problem. And, uh, and, and that, that's a very nice theory that helps you uh, find out uh, the dimension. So I guess I'm running out of time now. Okay. Is there any time for questions? Thank you very much. Dependencies, so you, you cannot count simply how many constraints you need. So this doesn't. Yes, 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 yes. So you have to deal with it, please. Yes, that's, that's the. Uh, yes, in, in, uh, in Lagrange or Hermit interpolation, you always have a solution, and a unique solution if you have as many constraints as uh, unknowns, as, as coefficients in the polynomial. Uh, but Birkhoff interpolation is much more tricky, and uh, yes, that's absolutely the, the main issue here. Uh, that's right. Let's thank Pascal again.